up welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my first vlog with my new camera i got a new vlogging camera so if you guys can tell the quality is a little bit different it is a nicer camera yeah, i mean it looks pretty good so far it looks pretty simple to use so yeah if there's any problems just bear with me so far so good it's looking really nice but i just wanted to show you guys real quick um i actually got a package in the mail that i am so stoked about so Oh my god, so happy. Can you guys freaking believe it? Halo Top. So Halo Top just came out with all of these new dairy-free flavors. If you guys are familiar with Halo Top, it's just a healthier alternative to ice cream. Every single Halo Top package will have like a number in front and that's how many calories are in the ice cream. I think they use like egg and fiber. So, and I'm pretty sure they use stevia in most of their... Yeah, organic stevia so not only is it super low in calories it's super low in sugars which you would think oh that's not even gonna taste like ice cream it is such good ice cream i put it in with like a lynn and larry's bar and i literally probably have one every single night because i knew that they had new dairy free ones and i always try to avoid dairy whenever i can just because it's not healthy for you so they sent me like a ton of the new dairy free flavors i might do like a, a halo top taste test in this vlog with my brother or something i do have to go to work though i work today tomorrow and the next day so i'm probably not gonna be vlogging much sea salt caramel and they use coconut milk so this is the first flavor they have ooh, the chocolate which i've had the chocolate dairy free before um i actually just had this one yesterday with my dad we have the chocolate covered banana I am mainly a chocolate girl, but I do love other flavors. But if I had to choose between all of these, if I go to the store, I usually tend to pick up the chocolate. This is the peanut butter cup. I've had their peanut butter, but the, the dairy one, and I put it in with uh, a scoop of peanut butter. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Another chocolate, because I know I love chocolate so much. Caramel macchiato. That one sounds good. And the cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll? Really? Oh my god, you have no idea how happy I am. And dry ice. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be touching that. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of those. How do you get rid of dry ice? Thank you so much, Halo Top. I cannot wait to dive into these. My freezer is gonna look so nice with all this Halo Top in it. I'm super excited. Thank you so much. You guys seriously have no idea how happy that just made me. <laughs> but I'm so simple, just give me ice cream and I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so I just got back from um, work. It's currently 10.40, okay, at night. Long story short, I guess Verizon, which I have, is out in my area, like it's completely out. Like you can't even call like 911 and stuff. And I literally was leaving and my maps wasn't working and I couldn't call anyone because my phone wasn't working. And I thought like something was wrong with my phone, but it was really Verizon and it's still not working. So it's kind of freaking me out because I can't like literally call anyone. Um, I can't use my maps, but I do have Wi-Fi right now. So I think I'm good, but oh my God, we rely on our phones so much. Like it's awful. I literally was circling around for like 40 minutes in a not very nice area and I couldn't find the highway. And I was like, well, I'm just stuck here for the night. Like I just I have nowhere to go and I have no one to call and I have no you know service for my maps it was saying like service undetectable or something like that like it was so crazy I kept turning my phone on and off and I thought it was my phone so like, I can't really pull over it's not the best area and it's 10 o'clock at night oh my god but I just got home I finally found the highway drove and I got to my mom's and my mom like hugged me she's like oh my god but yeah it's just crazy right now I'm like totally not aware right now too because i'm like so freaking tired i'm gonna go to bed i have to work tomorrow and then i also work the next day and i'll tell you guys a little bit more about that because i'm gonna end up vlogging that with you guys um i got the okay from somebody to vlog that event so i'm probably gonna do that and yeah i'll tell you guys more about it later but i'm i'm kind of tired right now so i'm gonna go to bed <laughs>
gym. I'm gonna share with you guys a quick like glute leg workout, if you will. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you to the gym with me and show you. I'm also gonna share with you guys real quick what I'm wearing. So um, these pants I actually got from a yoga subscription box like quite a while ago. I don't even know if you can tell with the lighting, but they have like this like green embroidered like design. It's like tribal style design. But if I can find these, I can leave them linked down below for you guys. Um, I'm also just wearing this crop top. I'm pretty sure I got this from like Forever 21 for like, I don't even know, $5? Like, I've had it for so long. It's not a workout top, but I just wear it as like a workout top. And then I also got this sports bra from Forever 21 as well. So yeah, that's kind of my workout. So one of you guys asked me last time I worked out what running shoes I, I use. And I kind of wear the same shoes for working out as well. And they're just these Nike ones and they have um, like no laces. So they're super, super comfortable. They're the Nike Free Runs. I think that's what they're called. But yeah, those are the shoes that I wear.
as you guys saw from the title of this vlog, this is going to be a travel with me to work kind of vlog, but this is going to be event style. This is one of the companies that I work for. They are a mineral sunscreen company, and I asked my manager if I could, you know, film myself working the event, and he said yes, he's all in for it. I'm going to be recording for you guys, not today, but tomorrow when I work for them. I actually have another event in an hour. It's not for Tropic Sport. But I will be working tomorrow and I will be taking you guys with me. But before I do that, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about what Tropic Sport is and why I work for them. It holds kind of a deep place in my heart because I was completely unaware about sunscreens. And living in Florida, I grew up, you know, wearing sunscreen all the time, being told to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen's good for you. Um, but actually, there's a lot of chemicals in sunscreens that seep into your skin and get into your bloodstream. It gets into women's breast milk. It gets in your urine it's like super super nasty and it's not good for your body so i was unaware of that a lot of my sunscreen based makeups and my sunscreen that i do have like the sprays and stuff have a chemical that's called oxybenzone if you guys have sunscreen based makeup or any sunscreen look at the ingredients if it has oxybenzone it is super super detrimental to the coral reefs and coral reefs are dying because of that but it's just really sad and hawaii is actually looking to ban all sunscreens with that chemical it's just really nasty stuff so um, that brings me to tropic sport so tropic sport is a mineral based sunscreen you can get other mineral based sunscreens you know at whole foods or you know online but the difference between tropic sport and other mineral based sunscreens is because it is mineral based you tend to get that white pasty look when you rub it in have you guys ever used sunscreen before and it like literally makes your face white and you cannot rub it in you're like why did i just do this oh my god well that's pretty much what a mineral based sunscreen does and that's what kind of makes um tropic sport a little bit unique so i'm going to show you guys how it rubs in so i'm just gonna put a little bit on but that is the sunscreen i'm gonna rub it into my arm and you guys can see here it doesn't give you that white pasty look it smells delicious too so it doesn't give you that white look which is super super rare when it comes to a mineral based sunscreen and another thing is that it smells amazing so it has a coconut vanilla scent and again most mineral based sunscreens they tend to smell like clay they don't have a really good scent so this kind of makes it a little bit unique this is kind of why i work for specific companies with events i really really love my job i love meeting new people but i am very very into the brands that i work with so tropic sport thank you for um you know letting me share this with everyone and i am not getting paid for this video uh, I get paid by Tropic Sport, but because I work for them, it has nothing to do with YouTube. This is a company that I genuinely work for, I really believe in, and I will leave some more information about the coral reefs and the effects of oxybenzone. Um, I'll leave some like articles and stuff, or maybe like a documentary, like a YouTube video or something. And I'll leave their information, Tropic Sport, down below if you guys want to get some sunscreen. Because they don't just have sunscreens, they have facial cleansers, lotions, they have cooling gel that's kind of like aloe vera, it passes Australia's water resistance test it's like a four hour water resistance test where someone like sits in a, in a jacuzzi for four hours pretty sure also mineral based sunscreens because they don't seep into your bloodstream they use a different technique to block the sun it reflects the sun it's just really cool i was completely unaware about the effects of sunscreen in your body like it's honestly disgusting to me i cannot believe i've been putting on sunscreen with oxybenzone and all these other chemicals in my body it's just awful uh tropic sport they're actually doing a giveaway for you guys and they're gonna do the travel pack trio so if you guys can see that hello <laughs> comes with one of the tropic sport sunscreens um a facial cleanser and the facial moisturizer and they do have bigger sizes obviously but this is a kind of more grab and go you just pop this little thing here you bring it to the beach with you you can like put it on your shorts or like on your purse with you wherever you go they have a really big one that you can get online and you just pop this white thing off and you can like repump sunscreen into here so yeah, I just really like them. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys kind of what I do um, when, with events. I will bring you guys along with me for tomorrow's event, bright and early, 7 a.m. I have to get there. So yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys kind of what I do. <laughs> Yes.
just got down here yesterday specifically for this race and I was pretty nervous because I tend to get fried. And I put this on as a sample at 10 o'clock and just got back now, it's about 2, and I'm not even red. And now I'm buying the full gamut of products yeah. because I feel like I can't live without it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am back. It is currently 5.35 p.m. So I've had a crazy few days with events. I worked the past three days. I did Grad Bash at Universal Studios. Um, I did a college football game. I just did the sunscreen for a swim thing, seven miles in the ocean. It was super crazy, super fun. And yeah, that's kind of what I do. I mean, every day is different. I go to a different place. Sometimes I'm working with different brands. I've been consistently working for a Tropic Sport, so this is just one of the brands that I'm consistent with. But yeah, each day is different, which I personally love. I love being outside. I love meeting people, interacting with people, and doing things that actually mean something to me, like the sunscreen is so good for the environment and so good for your body um, compared to other chemical-based sunscreens. And you know, it protects the environment, saves sea turtles, saves coral reefs, and it's just really cool. I really like working for this company. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Sometimes I give out free samples, sometimes I'll be selling stuff, like this one was selling. And other times I do lead generation. It just all depends on the brand and what they're trying to get. So I've worked pretty cool events. I did a Home Depot like Women's Expo, and that one I met Delilah, if you guys are familiar with. She's a radio personality and I got to meet her in that event and just help out with the girls when they got their toolkits. It was like this huge fun thing. I've worked for Ford um, when the Ford Expedition 2018 came out. I got to, you know, show people that. We had a ski simulator there. That was like a really fun one. Um, I've worked the IndyCar races, which I've told you guys about. I did Firestone tires, the sponsored tires for that event. They had like an airbrush tattoo booth, like those car ride simulators and just fun, cool stuff like that. And like every, like I said, every event is different, which I love. You get to go to like really cool things, um, get tons of free stuff. It's just a really fun gig. And you know, I'm just living life and going with the flow. And it's crazy hectic. Sometimes, you know, you work in the middle of the day. Sometimes you work inside, sometimes you work outside. Um, other times you wake up super early. Like today I woke up kind of early because I had to get there at seven. You know, just very different things. But I really like that about my job pays really well so when I do work these event jobs I usually work two to three days a week and the rest I just have off and I work on my channel if you guys have any other questions about what I do definitely pop it down below um, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because last time I did a come to work with me it ended up being like a 35 minute vlog <laughs> so is that too much for you guys or do you guys like prefer long ones like write down below your ideal time just give me like a time and I'll combine everyone's and do like an average and kind of stick to my vlogs on that average. I am so exhausted, I'm so tired, I'm so excited to have the week off, enjoy this beautiful Florida weather. It's like, what I'm looking at right now is insane, let me show you. There's my beautiful Florida weather from my couch. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna fall asleep, not gonna lie, um, maybe eat some Halo Top and just pass out and obviously take a shower. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys all in Wednesday's video. Bye, guys.